Good morning, guys. So today, I'm not gonna hold you guys too much. We're gonna go ahead and talk about how I passed my real estate license exam for the state of North Carolina on the first try. So let me go ahead and get you guys set up. I'm gonna make me some waffles really quick and then I'll go ahead and get straight into how I did that. So I really need for you guys to understand that for my real estate license, I study my tail off. The first thing I did was I signed up with um, Keller Williams. They paid for my pre-licensing and that gave me access to uh, get with Kaplan. And Kaplan is who the actual real, the pre, uh, the pre-licensing was through. So I did the pre-licensing for the state of North Carolina, which is required, it's 75 hours. They gave me six months to take that course. So I used up the entire time. So the thing that I forgot to mention is that I got my real estate license while I was deployed. So this is really a video of how I got my real estate license on the first try while in a deployed environment. So. I started my license before I left, or I started my uh, pre-licensing before I left. I wanna say I probably started around May. So like I said, they give you six months to complete the course. In the course, they literally just like have like different modules and you have to go through it for like a certain amount of uh, time. They have like practice exams. Each unit has its own exam. They, they test you throughout the way so they can test your understanding of the information. We, I went through the pre-licensing course and I did well in that. I passed the pre-licensing course on my first try. I wanna say I passed my pre-licensing maybe in like September or early October. And my goal was to get my license at the end of October. I actually didn't end up getting my uh, license until November because you have to schedule it with the state. But the way that I passed my first try is I would say the first one was because of that pre-licensing course. It allowed for you to go back and you could take the exams multiple times if you didn't get 100. I took those uh, practice exams every, every, if I didn't get 100 on it the first try, I went back and I took because there's no way that I was gonna feel comfortable taking the big exam and I was getting the smaller exams wrong. So I would go back and I would take the exams and if those units were like earlier units when it came towards time for my pre-licensing to end, I went back for the old stuff and like made sure that I remembered the basics because you know, when you get to the end, like you kind of forget that there are some key pieces towards the beginning that are fundamental for the end of the unit or the end of the course. So I made sure that I went back and checked to make sure that I knew everything from the beginning unit. The next thing I did with, in conjunction with taking my pre-licensing is I ordered the North Carolina real estate textbook. So I will leave the link below of where I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it either on Amazon, pretty sure I got it off Amazon. And it looks like this. So if you guys are trying to get your license, then I would suggest going ahead and get that book. I actually have it over here. I actually have it ready and handy at all times, just in case I need to reference it again. But I would suggest to get that and get you a pack of highlighters. So when you get your pack of highlighters and you get your textbook, write out like what the different colors mean and actually use them because it will help you. So when you start to highlight and you see the question on the exam, then you will be able to like, kind of like have it color coded in your mind that this is what this means. I would also recommend to go to the back of the textbook and write down like all the definitions and it's a lot of them. Write down all of the definitions and put them on note cards. And when I say note cards, I mean those ones that you would get when you were like in elementary school or you know what I mean? When you were in grade school and they had the, like the big part on there. It looked like a little piece of paper pretty much. And just write down the definition on um, one side and then write down the actual word on the other side and test yourself with those. Like every day, just take like a stack of them with you, whether you're going to your nine to five, whether you're going to, you know, like if you're going to dinner or something and there's a wait time or, you know, like if you're driving and maybe you just take a stop somewhere, take those note cards with you 
if you're like sitting somewhere for a long period of time. So that will help you get into a habit of recognizing the, the terminology and the definitions and different things like that. Because ultimately, if you can navigate your way through like through a test based off of definitions, then you're already one step ahead of people that don't know anything about real estate at all. So I would suggest really going ahead and getting that um, get some note cards and writing them down and carrying a stack of them, a stack of them with you every single day and actually going with them and like actually studying them to the point where you see that definition and you're like, okay, I know what that is. You know what appraisals are. You know what um, a single family home is. You know what a residential property is. You know what, what the different types of uh, things on the roof is. You know what the footings are. You know what the piers are. You know all of those different types of terminology. Now, I'm not gonna say that you're not gonna like, ever, you're not gonna use them in like regular conversation because more than likely you're not, but you need them for the time where you're gonna need them. So definitely don't neglect your definitions because those are going to get you through when you go to a question that's extremely difficult and you don't know like, okay, maybe I don't know the answer right off the top of my head, but if they give you the, uh, the words and you already know the definitions, you can kind of like do like a process of elimination. Well, I know this doesn't mean that and I know that doesn't mean this. So there's only one answer that could be correct and then that will help you along the way. Another thing that I would say to do is write down the things that you're having a hard time remembering. So like, say for instance, there is a chapter where um, you are struggling to remember like tenancy in common or you're struggling to remember uh, tenancy by the entirety or different types of leasehold estates or you know different types of things like that i would say to write those things down and not just on the note cards i had a notebook too like and it says like clark's real estate book or something like that because since i was deployed i didn't want anybody just picking up my notebook and like you know what i mean like thinking that it was just trash so i got like a like a regular spiral notebook and I used that to like write down the things that I was having trouble remembering. And because I was writing it down, it helped me remember those things that I was struggling on. So I would suggest to get that too. So, so far you need no cards to textbook. You need to probably, you're going to have to take a pre-licensing anyway. So, I mean, if Keller Williams is still, you know, offering to, you know, get people connected with Taplin to have that pre-licensing taken care of, then I would say go ahead and try to get that done. Also, you're gonna need some highlighters and you're just gonna need the drive and ambition to take it. Like, and also, oh, another thing that I did was I went on, I wanna say I went on the North Carolina Real Estate Commission's website or it was either the North Carolina Real Estate Commission or the, um, the people that you do your testing through. I can't remember their name for some reason, but, Basically, I'm pretty. It was one of the two of them. I went on their their website and I downloaded a practice exam. So you couldn't print out the practice exam. It had to be like virtual or whatever, or on the computer. So that I guess like so you don't like distribute the distribute the test or whatever. But it's not it's not the same test as the one that you're gonna take anyway. But. I just wanted to ensure that I got more practice, more practice than what I needed. I was determined to pass that that exam on the first try because people were like, "Oh, well, you know, North Carolina is one of the hardest states to get your te uh, license in. You pick the hardest state to get your license in." First of all, let me tell you guys something. All right, if you are going to get your license in any state, whether that be North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Virginia. Georgia, Florida, California, if you are going to get your real estate license, the process of taking the test is only gonna be as hard as you make it. If you are determined to pass that exam, if you are determined to be successful in real estate, then you have to be disciplined. And when I say discipline, just because you're taking your pre-licensing and you might not have an actual like course instructor, maybe it's like a virtual thing, then, you have to hold yourself accountable and actually study. Like set up a time where you just sit down and just study your material. Do not let these people instill fear in you and say, okay, well, I know that that's a really hard state to get my license in. 
You need to tell them, no, it's hard for you. It's hard for you. But for me, I'm going to pass it and I'm gonna pass it on the first try. And if you don't pass it on the first try, then you go back the second time even harder and then you go ahead and pass it, simple as that, okay? Do not let these people deter you from your goals and your dreams, okay? You have got to remain disciplined, okay? And actually study. If you are, if you are passionate about real estate, like me, then I know that you're going to do well. I appreciate every single one of you that hung out with me till the end of this video. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Definitely leave me some good comments. If you're gonna go ahead and get your license, let me know where you're getting your license at and which state, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.